from New Hanover County Schools Television, powered by students. This is your school news. Welcome to Your School News. I'm Maggie Cottle. And I'm Caleb Paul. Topping our newscast. The Board of Education holds regular monthly, monthly meeting. Cape Fear Garden Club accept, accepting grant applications and schedule announced for free athletic screenings. Our top story this week is the Board of Education held their monthly meeting on May 1st at the Board of Education Center. With this month's board notes is YSN reporter Johan Yellow. The Board of Education meeting for the month of May featured the recognition of many high achievers in the county. Let's get right to the board notes. The meeting began with a community partnership present presentation highlighting the district's partnership with the Landfall Foundation. The board recognized 23 teachers who achieved national board certification. 15 teachers renewed their national board certification as well. Also recognized at this meeting were 24 students who were invited to attend Governor's School this summer. Three students were all recognized as the winners of the MLK Commemoration Essay Contest. Administrative contracts for principals, vice principals, and supervisors were all approved for the period of July 2018 to June 2022. Board member Bruce Schell made a presentation showcasing the Head Start children. He also shared the Head Start report and the monthly expenditure report. Under old business, the June summer school proposal for English language, arts, and mathematics grades three through eight was approved. Also approved under old business were the 2018-2019 proposed county budget request and the hard to fill positions list. Under new business, three design consultant agreements were approved. They were the design consultant agreement for Noble Middle School renovations, the design consultant agreement for Trask Middle School renovations, and the design consultant agreement for Riceville Beach Elementary School additions and renovations. Three bids for school improvement and replacements were also approved. They were the bids for New Hanover High School Brogdon Hall roof replacement, bids for International School at Gregory replacement, and the bids for Veteran Park Ashley High School roof improvements. Also approved under new business were the 2018-2019 Career and Technical Education State and Federal Funding, the MOU between CFCC and NHCS for the Ashley High School Marine Science Academy, the Restart School Calendar, the Gifted Advisory Council Annual Report, the 2018 Participate Contract, the 2018-2019 NHCS Title I application, the disposal of surplus property, the resolution authorizing electronic payments, the procurement plan child nutrition contract, and the change order to CMAR agreement for Myrtle Grove Middle School renovations. The next regular Board of Education meeting will be Tuesday, June 5th, 2018 at 5.30 p.m. at the Board of Education Center 1805 South 13th Street. As always, if you cannot attend the meeting in person, you can watch the rebroadcast Tuesday night at 6 p.m., Wednesday night at 8 p.m., Friday mornings at 8 a.m., and Sundays at 1 p.m. Board meetings can also be watched online at www.nhcs.net. That's your board notes for May. Back to you. Schools can now apply for grants with the Cape Fear Garden Club. In order to be eligible for consideration for a grant, your application must meet the following criteria. Applicant must be charitable, nonprofit organization as defined under Section 170 of the Internal Revenue Code. Your project must be readily accessible and within New Hanover County, and all monies from the grant must be applied toward cost of materials for plantings, soil additions or enhancements, and irrigation systems. Grant monies may not be used in use for labor cost, individual tools, delivery cost, buildings, or other hardscapes, or administrative or overhead cost. The grant application deadline is June 15th. Inter interested schools should visit capefeargardenclub.org. New Hanover County high school and middle school athletes looking to undergo their state mandated physicals can do so for free. With a report is YSN reporter Kathy Kale. Each year, all North Carolina students who plan to participate in athletics or cheerleading must undergo a state-mandated screening examination. Physicians in the New Hanover Pender County Medical Society, in concert with the New Hanover County Health Department and the school system, are offering free screenings to New Hanover County athletes and cheerleaders at designated times and places. 
Exams for the boys will be on Thursday, June 1st. Girls exams will be Thursday, June 8th. All exams will be at the Health Department, 2029 South 17th Street. Students should report to the exam sites at the following time. Boys, Thursday, June 1st at 6 p.m. Ashley, Trask, Laney, Noble, Murray, Roland Grice, Myrtle Grove, New Hanover, Virgo, Williston, and Hoggard. Girls' exams will be on Thursday, June 8th. Girls from the following schools should arrive at 6 p.m. Ashley, Trask, Laney, Noble, and Murray. Roland Grice, Myrtle Grove, New Hanover, Virgo, Williston, and Hoggard. Before beginning an examination, physicians are required to see the new medical history, emergency information and parental permission forms, which are available in the schools, the Board of Education, and at www.nhcs.net under departments, then athletics, then parent information. These forms must be completed and signed by a parent or guardian before the exam is begun. If there are questions, there are several methods of contact. The student school, the Medical Society's Executive Director, Bonnie Brown at 910-790-5800 or calling the school system's lead athletic trainer, Matthew Trich at 910-251-6100, extension 270. Please note that it is inappropriate to call the health department for information or to request copies of exam forms. Completed forms are housed at the school that the athlete attends. Reporting for your school news, this is Kathy Kale. This is your school news on cable and online. Look for our blue logo for all the latest news online at www.nhcs.net. Welcome back to Euro School News. I'm Caleb Hall, Arbor Day celebration. For over a decade in Wilmington, the Wilmington Tree Commission has donated and planted a local tree at a local elementary school. Mayor Bill Saffo's on hand to help with the ceremonial planting of the tree and give a small talk on Arbor Day. With this full report is YSN reporter Mary Ho. In the spirit of Arbor Day, students at Winter Park Elementary ventured outdoors for the Wilmington Tree Commission's annual tree planting. Arbor Day is a national holiday that strives to bring awareness to the environment and encourages people to plant more trees. Each year, the commission plants a new tree at a county elementary school, and this year, Winter Park was selected. Pretty much what we were trying to do is instill something in these kids that, you know, once they grow up, that they'll be the ones that'll be looking after the trees. and. You know, they can, it makes an impression when you see a big old truck putting a, a tree in the ground. And it's something they won't never forget, I hope. To properly celebrate this holiday, the students learned all about the importance of trees to humans and their local communities. Kicking off the ceremony, the students performed a song from Dr. Seuss's The Lorax, Let It Grow. The sound of music filled the air and got the crowd even more excited to plant a tree of their own. Afterwards, many students shared their own thoughts about protecting the environment and their excitement about the school's new tree. I think it's a huge honor to have a tree planted at our school because um, the more trees we have, the more life it brings to our community and the more uh, um, fresh air we have to breathe. When, when we get more trees, it's like the more life we have and stuff and bring to our school. To show their gratitude to the Wilmington Tree Commission, the students of Winter Park gifted the commission a painting of a tree made by some of the students. Finally came the part everyone was waiting for, the planting of the tree. Mayor Bill Sappho was in attendance and even pressed the buttons to bring the tree into the ground from the truck. Overall, the tree was a beautiful addition to the Winter Park campus and will act as a reminder to the students why keeping our environment healthy and safe will make the world a better place. Reporting for your school news, this is Mary Hall. New Hanover County Schools has released its official 2018 high school graduation ceremony schedule. We start with our three non-traditional high schools. 
Isaac Bear Early College High School students will graduate on May 28th at the Bernie Center on the UNCW campus at 10 o'clock a.m. Wilmington Early College High School will also hold their ceremony on May 28th. Their ceremony will be held at 1 o'clock p.m. in the Cape Fear Community College Humanities and Fine Arts Center. Finally, the Career Readiness Academy at Mosley Performance Learning Center will hold its ceremony at Snipes Academy of Art and Design on June 10th at 7 p.m. Now the four traditional high school graduation ceremonies are scheduled for Saturday, June 9th at Trask Coliseum on the campus of the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. Laney High School ceremony will begin at 8.30 a.m. Ashley High School ceremony will be at 12.30 p.m. Hoggard High School ceremony will be at 4 o'clock p.m. And New Hanover High School will close out the day with their ceremony at 7.30 p.m. To review the complete graduation schedule, you can go to the school system's website at www.nhcs.net. New Hanover County Schools has been awarded a $1.5 million grant for anti-bullying training and support at five district middle schools, Murray, Myrtle Grove, Trask, Holly Shelter, and Williston are the participating schools. New Hanover County Schools is partnering with the National School Climate Center and Facing History and ourselves on this project. With the report on the grant is Weiser Reporter Mary Grace Stilley. Empowering Youth Engaging Schools is a four-year initiative funded by the Harvey L. Miller Family Foundation that combines the National School Climate Center's approach to comprehensive school climate improvement with facing history and ourselves instructional, instructional approach to build cultural competency and reduce bullying behaviors. Some of the key components of the EYES grant are the fully funded initiative including stipends and funding for substitute coverage, Intensive coaching provided through the National School Climate Leadership Certification to support school leadership teams. Five full-day cluster meetings for school leadership teams across the initiative and three cohort-wide youth summits. Instructional support, books, and other materials from Facing History and Ourselves will be utilized. There will also be access to industry-leading measurement tools and network support with other participating schools. Bullying is one of the most common findings that emerges from the National School Climate Center's comprehensive school climate inventory data. Students report feeling less socially and physically safe than adults realize. The National School Climate Center's Through Eyes grant will provide and support the New Hanover County youth and adults that need to create a safe and supportive school community. Reporting for your school news, this is Mary Grace Stilley. Check out these trending stories on the school system's website. Williston Middle School receives a new automated external defibrillator. Laney High School to hold 9th annual slam jam to prevent school violence. NHCS is recruiting for volunteer proctors up for the upcoming testing cycle. And always trending on your school news is Facebook and on Twitter. <laughs>